Dogecoin is a peer-to-peer open source cryptocurrency. It is considered an altcoin and an almost sarcastic meme coin. Launched in December 2013, Dogecoin has the image of a Shiba Inu dog as its logo. While it was created seemingly as a joke, Dogecoin's blockchain still has merit. Its underlying technology is derived from Litecoin. Notable features of Dogecoin, which uses a script algorithm, are its low price and unlimited supply. Dogecoin started as something of a joke, but after it was created, it gained a following. By late 2017, it was participating in the cryptocurrency bubble that sent the values of many coins up significantly. After the bubble burst in 2018, Dogecoin lost much of its value, but it still has a core of supporters who trade it and use it to tip for content on Twitter and Reddit. Users can buy and sell Dogecoin on digital currency exchanges. They can opt to store their Dogecoin on an exchange or in a Dogecoin wallet. Jackson Palmer, a product manager at the Sydney, Australia office of Adobe Inc., created Dogecoin in 2013 as a way to satirize the hype surrounding cryptocurrencies. Palmer has been described as a skeptic analytic, observer of the emerging technology, and his initial tweets about his new cryptocurrency venture were done tongue-in-cheek. But after getting positive feedback on social media, he bought the domain Dogecoin.com. Meanwhile, in Portland, Oregon, Billy Marcus, a software developer at IBM who wanted to create a digital currency but had trouble promoting his efforts, discovered the Dogecoin buzz. Marcus reached out to Palmer to get permission to build the software behind an actual Dogecoin. Marcus based Dogecoin's code on LuckyCoin, which is itself derived from Litecoin and initially used as a randomized reward for block mining although that was changed to a static reward in March 2014. Dogecoin uses Litecoin's script technology and is a proof-of-work coin. Palmer and Marcus launched the coin on December 6, 2013. The value of Dogecoin jumped 300%, perhaps due to China forbidding its banks from investing in cryptocurrency. Dogecoin marketed itself as a fun version of Bitcoin with a Shiba Inu as its logo. Dogecoin's casual presentation suited the mood of the burgeoning crypto community. Its script technology and unlimited supply was an argument for a faster, more adaptable, and more consumer-friendly version of Bitcoin. Dogecoin is an inflationary coin, while cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin are deflationary because there's a ceiling on the number of coins that'll be created. Every four years, the amount of Bitcoin released into circulation via mining rewards is halved, and its inflation rate is halved along with it until all coins are released. In January 2014, the Dogecoin community donated 27 million Dogecoin worth approximately $30,000 to fund the Jamaican bobsled team's trip to the Sochi Winter Olympic Games. In March of that year, the Dogecoin community donated 11,000 worth of Dogecoin to build a well in Kenya and 55,000 of Dogecoin to sponsor NASCAR driver Josh Wise. The freewheeling fun of Dogecoin lost some of its mirth in 2015, as the crypto community in general started to grow more serious. The first sign that not all was well with the Dogecoin community was the departure of Jackson Palmer, who said that a toxic community had grown up around the coin and the money it was producing. One member of that toxic community was Alex Green, also known as Ryan Kennedy, a British citizen who created a Dogecoin exchange called Moolah. Alex Green, which is his pseudonym, was known in the community as a lavish tipper, who reportedly mistakenly gave $15,000 instead of $1,500 to the NASCAR fundraiser. Green's exchange convinced members of the community to donate large sums to help fund the creation of his exchange, but it later surfaced that he had used the donations to buy more than $1.5 million of Bitcoin that in turn brought him a lavish lifestyle. Separately, Kennedy was convicted in 2016 of multiple counts of rape and sentenced to 11 years in prison. Dogecoin's value skyrocketed with the rest of the cryptoverse during the bubble that peaked at the end of 2017 and it fell with the rest of the cryptoverse over 2018. In the summer of 2019, Dogecoin saw another bump in value along with the rest of the crypto market. Dogecoin enthusiasts were happy when the crypto exchange Binance listed the coin and many thought Tesla Inc., Tesla, TSLA, CEO Elon Musk had endorsed the coin in a cryptic tweet. Dogecoin's infrastructure has not been a central focus for the coin's developers, who are volunteers. One reason Dogecoin continues to operate and trade is its active community of miners. Musk has openly supported Dogecoin in 2021, tweeting in May that he was working with the coin's developers to improve transaction efficiency. Earlier in the year, the SpaceX founder even ran a poll on social media asking if Tesla should accept Dogecoin as a form of payment. In October, cinema chain AMC announced that it would accept Dogecoin for digital gift card purchases by the end of the year, further adding utility to the meme-based cryptocurrency. Dogecoin has a few significant differences compared to Bitcoin. First, it's quicker and easier for miners to complete with the mathematical equations. That complete and record transactions on the transactions, which makes Dogecoin somewhat more efficient, 
for processing payments. Basically, where it takes 10 minutes for the process to ratify new blocks on the Bitcoin blockchain, it takes only one minute on the Dogecoin blockchain. Another significant difference is the absence of any lifetime cap on the number of Dogecoins that can be created, as we noted above. There is a lifetime cap of 21 million Bitcoin that limits the maximum possible number of coins that can be created. This means that miners are forced to work harder and longer over time to earn new Bitcoin, and to a degree, it helps guarantee Bitcoin's ability to hold and grow its value over time. Since there is no lifetime limit on the number of Dogecoins that can exist and millions of new Dogecoins are released onto the markets every single day, there is very little incentive to hold the cryptocurrency for the long term. Bitcoin continues to rise in value because of the system's lifetime cap on the number of coins that can be created. Doge really is less like Bitcoin and more like Dash or Bitcoin Cash, where the express goal is a spending currency. Historically, the per coin value of Dogecoin has been very low and around 3 cents per coin for most of 2020, so people were more likely to give them away. Users on social platforms like Reddit, Twitter, Facebook, and others can use a Dogecoin to reward or tip each other for posting content. The gains in Dogecoin that have been seen in 2021 may not be sustainable over the longer term. Whether the crypto's tipping and donating culture will continue remains to be seen. Those who bought Dogecoin to start 2021 have been well rewarded. Still, buying Dogecoin is a risky investment. The constant flow of new coins onto the market put unending downward pressure on the coin's value. There are also additional security risks for Dogecoin compared to the other major cryptocurrencies. It just hasn't had the same security and code level scrutiny that Bitcoin or Ethereum has. Plus, there's just not a particularly robust mining community around Doge, so the exposure for a mining level attack is well above that of something like Bitcoin. Buying any sort of cryptocurrency involves risks, and that includes Dogecoin. It's always worth buying a few coins and familiarizing yourself with the system, but it's probably best to refrain from sinking more than a token amount of your hard-earned money in a cryptocurrency that started life as a joke. To sum it all up, Dogecoin is one of thousands of cryptocurrencies that have recently come into existence, but unlike many other digital currencies that were created to solve a problem, Dogecoin was created literally to poke fun at Bitcoin and the silliness of buying a digital asset that was not backed by any asset or cash flow. Now the tables have turned, and Dogecoin is worth money. Everything about the coin's origin points to its jokey nature. Dogecoin was created by software engineers Jackson Palmer and Billy Marcus in 2013 following the quick rise in Bitcoin prices. The altcoin was designed in about two hours in 2013, and the creators based it on the Doge meme, a Shiba Inu dog who speaks in broken English. There is no limit on how many coins can be issued, gesturing to the absurdity of scarce digital assets. Despite its origins as an attempt to poke fun at the crypto arena, Dogecoin has captured the fancy of the investing or speculating public. It's hugely popular with traders on Robinhood, and the reported total value of all Dogecoin in existence is about 19 billion, as of March 2022. Like other cryptocurrencies, Dogecoin is mined by the decentralized network of computers that run the currency. The network computers perform complex mathematical calculations that effectively unlock coins or fractions of coins as a reward for processing transactions. You can buy Dogecoin through many different sites, and your choice of which one to use may depend on what your purpose is. If you're looking to buy Dogecoin merely to speculate, then you can opt for an online brokerage such as Robinhood that allows cryptocurrency trading. Webull and eToro also allow you to trade the coin, but many other brokers do not support crypto trading at all. The broker will hold any stake you have in the coin. If you're looking to buy Dogecoin to speculate or to actually use it, then you can opt for an exchange such as Coinbase or Binance US. Exchanges may let you take custody of the asset yourself, allowing you to send or spend it. If you're looking to use your crypto holdings, it's useful to have a crypto wallet that can add an extra layer of protection beyond what is usually offered through an exchange. Thanks for watching.